Welcome back. The former Zambian president, Rupia Banda, has died at the age of 85. He died after a short battle with colon cancer. Banda was the country's fourth democratically elected president and led Zambia from 2008 until 2011. During Banda's presidency, he worked to strengthen the country's economy as well as the health care and education sectors. Well, let's reflect on his legacy. I'm joined now by Dr. Neo Semotani from the Center for Policy Dialogue. Um, and I believe you join, you're joining us from uh, Lusaka, if, if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Semotani. Um, I was there when Rupia Banda was elected in 2008. Firstly, when he had to, you know, uh, come in after the passing of of uh, Dr. Levi Mwanawasa uh, during his term of office, as well as the election that then took place. It can't have been easy stepping into the shoes of Levi Mwanawasa. But just your own reflection of a man who not only played that role of president uh, for those years, but also had been active uh, in governance and in the leadership in Zambia for many, many years, including during the days when he was in UNIP. Yes, um, it's very sad that we, we have lost uh, um, uh, a former uh, head of state. Um, Mr. Banda had uh, a lustrous career um, as a diplomat. Um, he was uh, Zambia representative of the United Nations. He was, uh, the Nations. Um, he was uh, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, and held a number of positions in government, um, you know, before actually the, the one party, the multi party system was introduced. Um, I think he, he also played quite a significant role in getting uh, uh, Levi Manawasa elected, re elected in 2006. Um, on, that, on that strength, I think that's how he was chosen or selected, appointed to be vice president. Um, he served a very short period of time, and uh, I think three years is a very short period of time. Uh, but I think he left a legacy, uh, and his legacy uh, was firstly uh, being able to gracefully uh, step down and accept uh, electoral defeat, which is rare in Africa. Um, but also, uh, he uh, played a, a big role, I think, uh, in, in the last election we had in, in August uh, 2021 uh, uh, by persuading uh, President Edgar Lungu to concede defeat mm -hmm. uh, because there were indications that. Um, uh, uh, Edgar Lungu was going to petition the results. Uh, he was complaining about all kinds of, of things. Uh, even he claimed that uh, the election was rigged and so forth. Uh, so he played a very big role in, in, in that. He was a statesman. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that is really a, a big contribution. But he was, he was a, a very friendly man. As a human being, he was friendly, he was approachable. Um, he had... Uh, yeah, it's the same type of charm. You know, he, 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 he mixed very easily with the, the common person. Um, but also, uh, under his leadership, which was short, uh, the economy, I think, did quite, quite well. He did not really, uh, you know, uh, pass uh, laws or policy, come up with policies that uh, harmed the economy. At the time, uh, the MMD lost power. Uh, Zambia's uh, economic standing, I think, was quite strong. In fact, uh, it was under his watch that uh, Zambia was classified uh, in, in a lower middle income economy by the World Bank. Uh, so some of those, those, some of yeah. those positive approaches. There's, there's another interesting aspect of his life, uh, Dr. Simotani. He was actually born in Gwanda in Zimbabwe, if I'm not mistaken. And I suppose, uh, in fact, uh, I remember uh, the late former president of Zimbabwe, uh, Robert Mugabe, during a state visit uh, of uh, 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 President Banda uh, to Zimbabwe, reminding him that you are a son of Zimbabwe. But where I'm going with this is that um, in terms of a role in the region and that whole um, regional integration theme, uh, how much time did he have 
to play that role, given that, you know, his tenure was quite short. But this was a man who had been active, though, uh, in other leadership positions, including uh, in the capacities as a diplomat and also as a foreign affairs minister. Yes, Mr. Banda was a diplomat. So I think he, 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 he played quite some role uh, in, in regional integration, especially in SADC. Um, I think he, he played a big role. He knew almost everybody uh, in the region because he was uh, very, very involved in the liberation struggle. You know, he, he chaired the, uh, uh, the committee on Namibia, uh, for example, the, the UN uh, uh, com com committee on Namibia. He was chair with that, that when he was a representative of the United Nations. Uh, so he knew the actors very well, you know, uh, in the region. Um, so he he was able, I think, to interact with them and, uh, uh, you know, ensure that Zambia uh, made his contribution to the, to to the to the um, to the, uh, to the region, you know, in terms of integration. Of course, he was not as uh, combative as his. Uh, uh, predecessor, because uh, President Manawasa, I think, was was a bit more spoken, especially on issues of um, uh, democracy. Yeah, uh, in Zimbabwe, he yeah. really was. Yeah, yeah. but he, he was not he was. Yeah, but he, but but he, but he was not that way. You know, but also being a, a, a very a, a, a diplomat, I think he didn't really uh, come out because. Uh, on the issue of uh, the role of the former, former president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, and, uh, and how he handled the 2008 elections, uh, for example, um, you know, our president then, President Manawasa, was, was not really happy about that because uh, what was happening in Zimbabwe went against uh, the Sadiq principles uh, of democratic elections. And, right. and, and uh, uh, when Manawasa was was chair of the of SADC, he actually voiced out. But of course, his colleagues uh, in the region did not did not support him, yeah, uh, because uh, they, they held the uh, Robert Mugabe in high esteem. So, but but I think he he did play his role, and and yeah. uh, and uh, I, I'm, I'm I'm positive that uh, he made quite a, a, an impact in, in that area, uh, mm -hmm. other than other areas. Lastly, Dr. Simotanyi, of with... yeah. Lastly, Dr. Simotanyi, yes, uh, legacies are complex, and um, for most of us, uh, if not all of us, it's always going to be a mixed legacy, especially if you serve in public life. And we see this whenever someone passes away here in our own country, in South Africa, the controversies that then start coming up. Um, after he left office, there were these allegations around corruption, and, and abuse of office, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Are Zambians uh, hung up on that? Is that conversation happening at all uh, in, in, in reflections about his legacy? No, 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 not at all. I, I, I think uh, um, the, the, way, the way, of course, um, uh, concerns about how he handled uh, corruption uh, issues, you know. Uh, there was a particular provision which was dropped. Um, and then, of course, um, um, uh, former President uh, Chiluba's case was discontinued. Um, and people felt that he could have interfered in that. Um, he was, of course, uh, he's the one who placed him, uh, President Michael Sata, um, arrayed uh, charges against him and removed his immunity. Um, and I think that that itself, uh, you know, it really was not was not uh, good on his on his record. But the, the case the case was eventually uh, dismissed. But this was after change of government because uh, uh, he tried to come back to power, and I think that was was one of the things that he, uh, may, may have uh, we can say takes away. Uh, you know, uh, his good record, especially out, out of power, because he was not very partisan. He didn't, he didn't involve himself much in politics, but he tried yeah. to attempt to come back to power uh, in, in early 2015, when after uh, Michael died. Right. Um, and when the Supreme Court, uh, you know, ruled that he was not eligible to stand because 
there was uh, in, in the MMD, uh, the MMD leader was the one who was supposed to stand. When that happened, uh, he crossed uh, he crossed to the other side and supported uh, uh, Eddie Galungu. And I think that decision to, to support Eddie Galungu uh, played uh, a, a big role in, yeah. in the collapse of MMD, because as we speak today, MMD is literally uh, non-existent. It's just right. a missing paper. Dr. Nelson uh, so, Mutanya, so again, you know, my, my apologies, sir. I'm completely out of time. I'm coming up for news. Thank you for your generosity in sharing your insights with me here on today. And lastly, from me, if, if anything, you Zambians do know how to use the vote and know what it's used for uh, in terms of changing governments if you are not happy. That's Dr. Neo Simutanyi there uh, from the Center for Policy Dialogue joining us uh, from Lusaka in Zambia. I'm back with more at the top of the hour.